Hey guys, what's up? Uh, we are up in New York today to talk about polarizing filters. Uh, as many of you have actually asked about the colors in my video, uh, I'll be quickly talking about the different things that I use in my video to make the colors looking great. Uh, so the first thing is actually polarizing filters, uh, then color grading, and eventually the color profile. So here is actually the uh, color profile that I use, or the picture style, whatever you want. Um, so if you can see here quite well, all right, there you go. Um, so actually I'm using the landscape one here, so you can change them by doing that. So you've got different, um, different picture styles, and I'm using only the landscape one, so that's what I'm using. So you probably wonder why we actually use a polarizing filter. So there's actually two main reasons for that. So the first one is actually saturating the colors, especially the blue and the green. And then the other reason is that it actually removes the reflection on the water or on the windows as well. So here's actually an example of the sky with the blue colors. So here's without the filter. And as you turn up, there you saturate the sky. And if you turn it again, everything disappears. So that's without the filter, and that's with the filter on. So if now we look down at the grass, it kind of gives the same effect and saturates the colors as well. So it's without the filter, and as we rotate the filter, it saturates the greens. So that's with the filter, and this is without. So you can clearly see the difference. So we use them, it's pretty easy, you just need to screw it in on the front of the lens, like that. And uh, then once the filter is in, you just need to rotate and it kind of give the different effect that you want. So more you rotate and more you get these saturated colors. So the filter itself is built with uh, two different pieces of glasses and only the front one is actually rotating. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so there's actually a couple of issues using a polarizing filters. As you can see, they're actually quite dark, so it made the utilization pretty difficult by night, even though it actually doesn't really uh, improve the colors as well. And the other problem uh, is like if you get a cheap filter, uh, it might, you might actually get a decrease of the quality of the footage, especially on the edge. Um, the only thing is, uh, if you actually use the filter uh, during the evening, for instance, and the sky starts to get really blue, uh, then if you turn and if you rotate to get like a much more intense color, the color is going to get really, really dark and maybe even black, so that's another issue you can have. And eventually I would say like if you get again a cheap filter, you might get actually have some lens flare on the, on, on the frame, that's not what you want. So here are actually the two different polarizing filters that I'm using. Uh, this one is a polarizing and UV filter and this one is just a polarizing filter. Um, so there's a wide range of different polarizing filters available. Uh, they cost about from 20 to 25 pounds over to 100. So it really depends what you want to do. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked the video and if you've got any questions or any requests please leave everything in the comment below. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave you now because it's just so freezing cold. Alright, bye bye guys, see you soon. Problem take two. <laughs> Sorry. So there's a couple of issues. There's a couple of issues using a polarizing. <laughs>